Hey there, Mike Rempel here, and since I'm here and you're there, it must be time for another Excel Bytes blog post from another set of eyes. Yesterday we took a look at um, using um, VLOOKUP with some product or some ifs to pull grades from a chart um, based on the student name and class. And if you haven't had time to take a look at that one, please do, because this is just going to be an adjunct to that. So it's really helpful if you understand what we went through yesterday uh, to look at these formulas. But in essence, what we did was look at um, VLOOKUP. We took VLOOKUP and then using some product, figured out how to pull from this chart the proper grade uh, with a VLOOKUP into our grade scores down here. And we did that with both some product and some ifs. Today we're going to add a third variable to that, and that is this formula, which is adding is number to that process to expand it even further. In the previous example, what we looked at yesterday, we had the names as part of our pull-down list. But here I've added the student numbers. And as you can see, if I have Tom and math, it gives a D grade uh, to all the methods that we use, the sum product, the sum ifs, or the last one we're going to talk about today. Because again, Tom with math had a 1.0 grade, and a 1 is going to return a D. But what I've added here is the ability to have the formula look at whether it's either a name or whether it's a number. And I did that by using adding to this formula an if statement and is number. If we ever looked at uh, is number, you can see that it checks whether a value is a number or not and returns a true or false. So by using an if statement here, the first logical test I want to check is, is F5 a number. If it is, then do a VLOOKUP with the, I use the sum product variable in columns A2 to A13 and look for that number. If it's not a number, then do, well, here, let's just do this up here and look at it a little bit more. Uh, again, if it is a number, then use the VLOOKUP and look up in column A. But if it's not a number, then the alternative is go in to some product and look in column B, uh, B2 to B13 for the name. So by using is number to validate if it's a name or a number, and then using an if statement, we can indicate to Excel to either go to column A, whether it's a number, or to column B, whether it's a name, and pull the appropriate grade from our table here and return it. And again, we're using um, uh, going to the second column of the um, formula and then using a 1 here to return an approximate value rather than an exact match. Uh, because again, grades um, are, don't exactly fall always in 1, 2, 3, 4, as you can see, 2.5, 1.4, 3.9. So that's why we went with the approximate match. So a nice little variation on yesterday's uh, screencast uh, regarding uh, using VLOOK and some product or some ifs. And we've added is number and the if statement so that you are able to use either a name or a number and it's still going to prove, pull the appropriate grade for our formulas. I uh, hope you liked that. hope you found it valuable. If you did, please uh, feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and subscribe to my blog post, and happy excelling.